Hello everyone, and welcome to this special video. 2021 was a great year of railroad events, both in modern railroading and in rail preservation. And since last year's video did real well, I thought why not do a 2022 version of the video. Without further ado, here is the possible and expected railroad events for 2022. We'll start by taking a look at the new Acela train sets for Amtrak, the Avelia Liberty. These train sets were expected to be placed into service in late 2021, but that was delayed because of required modifications to be done to the Northeast Corridor rail line. It's to be expected that these train sets will be placed into service in the winter of 2022. What will also be placed into service by Amtrak is the new ALC42 Charger locomotives. Amtrak has ordered 75 of these Charger locomotives from Siemens Mobility in Sacramento, California, and in their contract, they actually have an option of ordering an additional 100 if necessary. These locomotives will pull Amtrak long-distance trains, as well as some of the shorter intercity runs. Again, these locomotives will be placed into service in 2022, but unsure when exactly they will be in service. We will now go over steam locomotive restorations. Passenger crews at the Reading and Northern Railroad in eastern Pennsylvania are hard at work at restoring former Reading T1484 No. 2102 to operation. With a test fire being completed in early 2021 and parts being installed in the locomotive ever since, it is expected that the 2102 will enter excursion service and possibly pull revenue freight trains on the railroad as it was the kind of task that this locomotive was rebuilt for. 2022 will be the 50th anniversary of the Fort Wayne Railroad Historical Society, the proud owner of the Nickel Plate Road No. 765. Steam in the Valley excursions are already being planned for May of 2022, and there'll probably be more events to be announced with this famous Berkshire. Next is about the East Broadtop Railroad in Orbisonia, Pennsylvania. Although not guaranteed to happen this year, the East Broadtop is working hard to restore engines number 14 and 16 to be put back into service. And sometime in the future, steam whistles will finally be heard echoing across Orbisonia and Rock Hill Furnace. More steam locomotives are not only being restored for excursion service, but also for freight service as well. In 2021, a freight company called SMS Lines has recently test fired their switcher locomotive number nine. Once this locomotive is back in operation, the railroad said that it will be used for freight service. Another steam switcher locomotive that completed a test fire in 2022 is the Western Pacific 060 number 165. This locomotive is owned by the Western Pacific Railroad Museum in Port Toilet, California, and they are a nonprofit organization. Since the Railroad Museum is a nonprofit organization, this restoration is being powered by donations. I will leave you a link to the website on how to donate to this restoration project. A steam locomotive that has its debut set up for 2022 is a Santa Maria Valley 262 Prairie type locomotive number 205. This steam locomotive completed its restoration early this year and will have its debut run in March of 2022 for a Trains Magazine photo charter. The photo charter will take place on the Albany and Eastern Railroad in the small town of Lebanon, Oregon, not too far from Salem, Oregon. I will also provide a link in the description so you can reserve your spot on this upcoming photo charter. Next, we have the Spokane, Portland, and Seattle 484 Northern number 700. While this restoration was expected to be complete in 2021, unfortunately that might not be the case. However, work has been progressing on this restoration. And it's almost guaranteed that we will see this giant 484 locomotive steam up again in 2022. Last but not least, we have the restoration of the Cast the Durbin line in the mountain state of West Virginia. It was expected that this line would be completed in 2021, but that project has been delayed as a small piece of the rail line has yet to be restored. We will probably see this rail line completed in the winter of 2022. As this video comes to a close, 
Thank you so much for joining me and taking a look at what's ahead for railroads in 2022. If you know any other railroad events that are expected to happen in 2022, please let me know by leaving a comment down below. If you enjoy the content that you see here, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel and click on the notification bell to receive all notifications every time I post a new video on YouTube or make a post in the community tab. This is Transcontinental Rail Fan, out.